Hey, thanks for joining us again today. Today we're at Auto Sport in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. With might be a familiar face, I actually sold this car in the past and I got it back. It's a 2005 Ford Mustang GT Premium with only 48,000 miles. I believe it's called Screaming Yellow. And uh, this car is in excellent condition inside and out. Uh, from what I can tell, it's all original. And uh, we're going to do a little walk around here, show you the exterior, interior. We'll open the hood. I'll show you the top. And uh, the reason we do these videos, we're not going to, uh, the pictures don't show every little thing. We do these videos to try to point out any imperfections that you might miss. If there's anything I miss, feel free to call me, text me, email me. I'd be glad to get you additional photos as well. And uh, that way, whenever you come in, whether you're coming in to look at the car, you're flying in and we're picking you up at the airport, or you're just getting the car shipped right to your house, you know exactly what you're getting. And hopefully it's everything you think it is, if not even nicer, whenever you get it. So we're going to start in the front, we'll work our way around, and uh, give you a little tour. So uh, again, I believe this is called Screaming Yellow. Uh, I have not found any paintwork on this car. From what I can tell, it's all original, and everything lines up really nicely. You can tell this car must have been in the garage the majority of its life. It is a clean car fax, and uh, just shows really well. I haven't had too many yellow ones, and it must be one of the more less produced uh, colors. So across the front bumper here, Nice and clean. There's no, uh, you know, big chips or scratches or anything like that. Both grills are really nice. The teeth here are nice and sharp for what they should be. And uh, it does have the retro style fog lights. Very nice and clear. Same with the headlights and the tail lights. A lot of times they can get kind of uh, like a really light haze to them. These have none of that. Obviously the pony designation in the center there, uh, just like it is was from the factory. Um, I don't see any kind of dents or scratches on this hood. Really just a, a nice clean example of a 2005 Mustang. Uh, and this is a, a GT 5-speed, which for uh, an older style Mustang here, you really didn't see that too often. Most of these cars were automatics and most of them were coupes. So this one checks a lot of the boxes. And I believe it's a premium because the difference is, is a Deluxe had a vinyl top and premiums had this cloth style top, which is a lot nicer look and um, just gives it a nice clean uh, appearance. So going across the windshield here, you know, very minor little chips here, but nothing out of the ordinary, nothing that uh, you're going to see in the pictures, but I'd rather you know that it is there. Uh, windshield cow, again, a lot of these Mustangs, uh, the sun can create like a little bit of cracking or... Um, I don't know what the word is, uh, maybe fading. None of that on this, really nice and clean. There's no uh, dry rot uh, was the word I was looking for. None of that going on here. It does have the premium style wheels, which is like an aluminum face with the charcoal inserts. No curb rash, even the insides of the wheels are nice. Uh, if you've watched these videos before, the insides of the wheels can get a little bit of corrosion to them. None of that on this. Also, uh, whenever I pop the hood, I'll show you the underside. A lot of them have a little corrosion issue on the undersides of the hoods, which can create like a, a delamination almost, but none of that on this one. I'll show you whenever I pop the hood. Again, really clean wheels overall. Even the insides of these fenders aren't all chipped up. Uh, you can tell that whoever had this car just must have used it sparingly and really kept nice care of it. So driver fender into the driver door. I don't see a dent. I don't see a scratch going into the quarter panel here. You're not going to catch it. Very minor dent here. Um, but again, nothing you're even going to notice, even if you come in and look at it. There's a little chip on the gas door here. A uh, little bit of touch up would fix that easily. Insides again on the fenders here. Nice. All these tires got a lot of tread left. They're definitely uh, on the newer tread depth side. And they are Michelins. Again, the wheels just as nice as the front. Calipers have been painted. I don't uh, have a lift, but uh, whenever I send these cars out for inspections, whenever I get them in, uh, a lot of these convertibles, uh, there's a added support bar for convertibles. And a lot of times they can get a little bit of surface rust and corrosion to them. This one shows extremely nice uh, for a 2005. So I want you to be aware of that. I'll try to get a picture of it on the website so you can see it. And then uh, that leads us into the back here. Um, again, for yellow, everything matches very, very nice. 
Yellow and red are probably the two easiest fading colors, especially yellow. Uh, but everything matches up. All the gaps are nice. The paint just has a, a great finish to it. And uh, for 2005, I'm sure there's something, but uh, overall it's in really nice condition. In the back here, it has all the original tail lights. This was a factory option, I believe. You could definitely get a spoiler. Uh, I'm sure the premiums is uh, whenever you got the painted spoiler to match. Factory dual exhaust. Uh, again, this is a vinyl top or a uh, fabric top. So uh, first thing you want to look at if you're looking at any other Mustangs is these back windows. They are glass with a uh, rear defrost in them. But a lot of times people try to glue them or tape them and it just does not last. You might get a year out of it, maybe more, maybe less. But, but generally, once people start gluing these, you might as well plan on a top. Uh, this one's nice and tight the whole way around. It seals well. It is a power convertible top. I'll show it here in a second. Uh, there's two latches on the inside, one button you hold. It goes down, and uh, I don't have it, but you can get a convertible boot cover for these aftermarket. And uh, by the way, the windows are tinted. And yeah, let's put the top down. All right, there's two latches here. Put all the windows down. Then you just hold in this center uh, button here in the header bar. And you can hear a really faint noise when it's done. You won't be able to hear it in the microphone, but, um, but these tops are actually really reliable. And if they do ever go, they're easy to fix, which is nice about Mustangs. Generally, anybody can work on these cars. And uh, they're just, I have a 2008 and a 2011 myself, and they're just excellent cars. Trunk area is nice and clean. Forgot to mention uh, Shaker 1000 stereo system. Most of these cars are Shaker 500, just has a little bit of a bigger subwoofer in the trunk. Uh, still plenty of storage in there. Uh, the underside of the um, uh, I guess trunk lid as well as back in these channels is nice and original a lot of times the paint can kind of start to fade and and peel away in there but none of that going on again uh, factory tail lights here you can actually upgrade these to sequential for about 60 bucks on American Muscles website you can buy a plug-and-play kit that's kind of cool gives it a retro style look okay passenger quarter into the passenger door I don't see anything there to, to pick at. Uh, even the lower rocker panel is nice and clean. It's not all chipped up or tarred up, nothing like that. Uh, rear wheels uh, or passenger side wheels, just the same as the other side. No curb rash, no scratching, really nothing to pick at on them. And uh, that leads us into the interior. All right, again, if you've seen these videos, probably one of the top five things that goes is these uh, door panels here. A lot of times the glue starts to separate and they need to replace or re-glued. These have probably been redone because everything seals nice and tight. Uh, going into the uh, rocker panel as well as the seats. The seat bolsters are all nice in this car. The dash area, the carpeting. Uh, just a, again, a nice original example. And um, do have uh, the rear seat again, just as nice as the front. Just have a newer set of floor mats in it as well. All right, same with this uh, driver's side door here. Just nice and tight around here. Again, someday it's going to start to go. They all do it, and uh, but they're easy to fix. It's a known issue, and you can buy replacements down the road. Uh, same with this driver's seat. It's nice. Uh, a lot of times, again, they can get scuffed from getting in and out of them. Shaker 1000 stereo system. You have AM, FM, CD. I think it's a six-disc. And yeah, you no, it does not. I thought maybe it had an aux uh, hookup, but it does not. Five speed, that's what they all came with, uh, unless you got a GT500 in this model. It's the fifth generation, my opinion. It's a, my favorite generation. Um, it changed it in 2015, and a lot of people much prefer this style. So um, if you want to shut the door, uh, I will show you underneath the hood, and then we'll go over the lights and call it a day. All right, so again, this is a 4.6 liter V8. Uh, they're a little over 3, 315 roughly horsepower, uh, five speed manual. Again, super clean under here. Uh, this has not been repainted as far as I know. Uh, it just gives it a nice look. Uh, the 
hood insulator, nice and clean, as well as you can see the firewall. Even the top of these strut towers are nice. A lot of times they can get corroded, rusty, none of that going on. Same as down in these channels. Can't see it, but you can see it in the pictures. Did put a new battery in it. Uh, it does have both keys. We also uh, had new inspections done. We do have emissions as well as regular inspection in this county. So no check engine light, no dead battery with on within 150 miles. So um, whenever we put the battery in, we did drive this one a good bit, uh, had the inspections done. That way, whenever you get in the car, and even if you're out of state and have to have it inspected elsewhere, uh, everything should be ready to go. Um, let me get in it. I'll fire it up, turn the lights on, uh, show you all the lights, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Again, I do have two keys for it, and I do have the owner's manuals in there as well. 48,000 miles. There's no dash lights on or anything like that. All your air conditioning vents are nice and clean. There are a couple little chips on these buttons here on the radio that you can see in the pictures, but that's a common thing. All right, there's your brake lights. There's your passenger turn signal, driver turn signal. Uh, can't do it with the brake on, but there's reverse. All right, and then in the front, uh, these are manual lights in these. You just turn it over and then pull it out for the fog lights. There's your uh, driver turn signal, passenger turn signal. Again, your lights are off. Just a, a really nice, clean car overall. Um, you know, this car hasn't been heavily modified or anything like that. It's a clean car effect. It's just a nice, honest 05 Mustang. Um, take a look at our website. There's probably about 40 pictures of this car, as well as the car facts. Uh, if there's anything I missed, definitely give me a call or text. I'd be glad to get you more information and pictures. Uh, come in and drive the car. Come look at it. Or, you know, we'll, we'll ship it right to you, whatever you want to do. But I don't think you'd be disappointed with this one. Give us a call, 724-388-4930. And again, we're located in Pittsburgh, PA, with this 2005 Ford Mustang GT Premium with only 48,000 miles. Thanks for watching.